Claudia with Heather, the co-owner, and I'm really curious what your inspiration was for doing an allergy-free bakery. Did you have your own allergies? Well, I am pre-diabetic, and that is really one of the driving forces because most uh, bakeries that are out there, obviously, you know, you have refined sugar, and I wanted to make something that was much more health supportive. I'm also sensitive to gluten and also lactose intolerant. And my business partner is also sensitive to wheat and to sugar and dairy as well. So it made sense to take out all of those things. And because soy and corn are also such big allergens, yeah. it just made sense to try to take out as many things as we can. So, so did you guys get training in? Or one of you or both of you trained? Or was this sort of trial by fire? Or you just like experimented a lot? Yeah, well, there's really nowhere to get trained for totally what we do. True. But we both love to bake and we both love being in the kitchen. We are both graduates of integrated nutrition, okay. so we have a lot of knowledge from there. And then I also went to the Natural Gourmet Institute in Manhattan, so gained wow. a lot of knowledge from there as well. But you know, all our recipes are just, you know, it's all trial by error. Just everything is just constantly trying new things because there's really nothing that's out there yet that's free of everything that we're free of. There's there's vegan and gluten-free books, but they're not free of corn. And people don't really take that into account because of the leaveners that you need. Yeah. Because baking powder has cornstarch in it. And so, you know, we have to adjust the leavener. So, a lot of it is just a lot of trial. All of it was trial. So, I really love that you don't use sugar. Like, in my cookbook and all my cooking, I don't use refined sugar or even cane sugar. Mm -hmm. So, tell us about the sweeteners that you do use here. Great, so we use coconut sugar, agave, or maple syrup. Uh, coconut sugar is a low glycemic sweetener, and it's a more sustainable sugar. Right. And agave is also a low glycemic sweetener, and it's both of those are really safe for diabetics. And that was one of the driving forces, is that people with blood sugar issues would feel safe coming here. And we've had a lot of customers who are you know, type 1 and type 2 diabetics who come in and, note and say that they don't notice any spikes in their blood sugar levels. I, I even had a customer one time come in, her blood sugar was really low, and she, she got a cookie because she wanted something to bring it up. And she sat there and she's like, nothing. She, it was once until after she had four products before <laughs> she even started to feel, you know, back, you know, to normal again. And that's... You know, in that case, it was, you know, she didn't appreciate it, but it just showed right. you know, that our products really are much more gentle on the box. I love guilt-free treats, because I want to be able to eat cinnamon buns and not have a sugar coma afterwards, so it's very exciting. So what do you use in this frosting here? The frosting is made, the sweetener in the frosting is agave, and the cinnamon bun is sweetened with coconut sugar. That's one of my favorites. It's very cinnamony. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say that it's similar to when you eat a regular cinnamon bun, when you get to the center, because that's what everybody loves, is the middle part of it. That the whole, entire, yeah. the whole entire thing is like that. Mm. That's so good. Thanks. And then you have your own mixes. Well, we're just doing a chocolate chip cookie mix for right now. Hopefully, eventually doing more. I think people really would love to have that, because... Mm -hmm. We want to make stuff at home, but we want it to be easy. Right. So these would be great for people who have all these allergies who don't want to take so much time cooking. Right. I'm trying the Samoa cupcake. I've never actually seen that in any other bakery, so it's very creative. It's a vanilla cupcake with a chocolate and caramel filling with coconut on top. Check out the inside of that. Mmm. Whoa. That is so decadent, and it totally tastes like a Samoa cookie. So thanks for joining us here at Happy Cow, your healthy eating guide, and thanks to you, Heather, for having us and for giving this option to so many people. My pleasure. I hope that you will stop by Sweet Freedom if you're ever in Philadelphia, and do you deliver goods? We deliver locally and ship online. They can go to our website and there's a online store where you can place order. Thanks for joining us.